Paris Masters, the final event of the season for most of the guys that are playing on the ATP. We have a massive, massive draw, and all the big names are playing. Djokovic is back for the first time, but let's go have a look at who's not playing in this one. So we've only got a couple withdrawals from this event, and those are Karina Busta, he's not playing. Chorich, also not playing, and Shapovalov has also pulled out from this event. So those guys won't be there, but there are some massive first round matches coming up. Top of the draw, you've got eight seeds getting a buy in this one, 16 seeds in total. Djokovic gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Kichmenovic and Echeverry in the second round. Then you've got Grigsport taking on Eubanks. Winner of that will take on either Fakina or the 15th seed Shelton in the second round. Shelton taking Djokovic third round. Yes, 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 yes. Then you've got the number nine seed Fritz taking on Baez. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Feast. Then you've got Vavrinka taking on Anaudi. Winner of that will take on the number six seed, Runa, in the second round. So, potentially, a rematch between Djokovic, Runa, who, of course, played last year's final. And, of course, we've got a rematch there with uh, Shelton versus Djokovic, potentially in a third round in that one as well. And also, don't forget Fritz. He is not qualified for the ATP final, so he needs to have a good week. Next section of the draw, you've got Sinner, the number four seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of a qualifier or McDonald in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Bonzi. The winner of that will take on either Murray or the number 13 seed, Diminor. Then you've got the 12th seed, Paul. He'll take on Gasquet in the first round. That's a fun first round. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Manorino. Then you've got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that will take on the number five seed, Rublev. So a lot of qualifiers in this section. And we could be getting uh, Rublev taking on Sinner. I mean, both are playing the ATP Finals. Both have qualified for that event. So there's not much on the line for them. Uh, they just want to sort of, I guess, get a big trophy by the end of the year and try and go in with some form. But um, it could be, you know, Diminor or, or Paul who are playing for an ADB final spot. Of course, the winner of this section will take on the Djokovic section. So we could be getting Sinner versus Djokovic in the semis. We could be getting Rublev, Djokovic in the semis. We could be getting Runa versus Sinner. We could be getting Runa versus Rublev. Remember, Runa has beaten Djokovic a lot in their career. In fact, he's, I think, won, what, two of the last three or something like that. Next section of the draw, you've got the number eight seed, Kasper Ruud. He'll take on the winner of Monfils and Sarundalo. Then you've got Lehechka taking on uh, Batista Ragu. Winner of that will take on either Korda or the number 11 seed, Hercatch. One of the best first rounds going around. Hercatch, of course, trying to make it to the ATP Finals. But so is Rude. And they could play off. That could be a little bit of a playoff in the third round. Winner goes through. Loser doesn't make the finals. Then you've got Tiafo, the number 14 seed, taking on Bublik. Another great first round. Winner of that will take on either Jarry or Poprin. Then you've got Dimitrov taking on Musetti. Winner of that will take on the number three seed, Medvedev, in the second round, which is exactly what I think happened last week in Vienna. So you could be getting, of course, uh, Tiafo versus uh, Medvedev in a third round, potentially. Uh, Rude versus uh, Medi in the quarters. Or her catch Medvedev if you want to go off form. But um, interesting little section here, and I don't think it's going to be that easy because, of course, the French crowd are going to be going for Monfils. And he did win a title a few weeks ago. Bottom section of the draw, you've got Sidzi past the seventh seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Oje Aliassime or Struff in the second round. FAA versus City Pass second round is a crazy second round. That should have been a final 12 months ago. Then you've got Umber. He gets a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier or the number 10 seed Zverev in the second round. Zverev versus City Pass third round. What the hell does that look like? Then you've got Hashinov, the number 16 seed, taking on Purcell. Winner of that will take on either Jera or Van Aish. Then you've got Muller taking on Nori. Winner of that takes on the number two seed, Alcaraz. Uh, Nori Alcaraz is always a great matchup. So I feel like this bottom section is definitely the harder section for the seeds. And this bottom half is definitely more stacked than the rest. Of course, this section takes on the Medvedev section. So it could be Alcaraz versus Medvedev. It could be Alcaraz versus Rude. Uh, it could be Alcaraz versus Hercatch if you want to go something uh, a little different with Hercatch playing for a lot of points, trying to get to the ADB finals. Or if you want to go something even more different, you could get Medvedev City Pass, which is what we're getting in Vienna this week. Maybe Medvedev Zverev again if Alcaraz does end up losing the final event of the year, and it's going to be fireworks from the start. A lot of players are playing for ADB final spots as well, so there is a lot of extra stakes at stake, right? There's a lot of players trying to play for the rest of the season. Uh, some players are going to be eliminated, and that's going to be it. And they're going to go on holidays. Who's going to win, chat? I mean, how can you not pick Djokovic, right? He has had a couple weeks off or a couple months off. He's coming in fresh. Alcaraz is injured. Everyone else is playing and beating the crap out of each other in matches. One week for Paris. It's going to be nuts. We're going to find out who plays the ATP Finals. But, man, Paris is absolutely stacked, as always.